What's good, y'all? It's your boy Ross back at it again with another video. So, we got to talk about what just happened on AEW Dynamite, man. Uh, this is the first Dynamite that Edge was uh, officially on his very first Dynamite, and uh, he seemed happy to be there. And a, a lot of us wanted to check out to see what did Edge have to say. He had something to say. He wanted to let people know why he was there. And uh, we waited pretty much the whole show to see what Edge had to say and why did he come to AEW or whatnot. So. We're going to skip right to that segment because that was really entertaining. It was an okay show. There was some entertaining stuff and then there was some stuff that was kind of middle of the road. Um, but I definitely wanted to talk about this. So, Edge gets down there. He's with Tony Schiavone in the ring. He gives Tony Schiavone props like, man, I used to listen to you call matches back in the day or whatnot. But now this is my ring so you can that on out of here. So, he's talking to everyone. And it's just the, the the energy, the crowd was electric for him. The crowd was happy to see him out there. He got an Adam chant, not an Edge chant, an Adam chant. And he even said that's the first time he's ever had an Adam chant, man. And uh, it was, a, it was a, a, a great, great, beautiful moment to see. So he basically wanted people, you know, wanted to know why he um, went to AEW. And he, he said he, he wanted to have um, fresh opportunities at fresh matchups. He made it very clear off the top that he said, you know, he, he really would look nice uh, with uh, the AEW World Championship around his waist. And he looked at the camera. So he made that very, very clear that he would like for that to be a thing for him to be the AEW world champion and you know kind of a little shot at mjf like hey mjf hey if there's ever a time and an opportunity to become champion i'm coming for it so he made that very clear off the top and then he started talking about um just the different people he wanted to face like john moxley powerhouse hobbs um obviously you know mentioning the AEW world championship mjf um you know just other people that you know he wanted to have a matchup with and the crowd is kind of cheering for the names that he's listing off but then he also started to talk about why uh another reason why he really came here he sat down with his family he sat down with his family he asked his daughters you know what I'm saying should I hang it up should I retire should I you know you know sell off into the sunset with my wrestling career or whatnot because that was a, a, a an option for him and one of his daughters like no nah, I don't think you should retire I think you should go uh, uh you know link up with uncle jay i think you, you should go have fun with uncle jay uncle jay for those who don't know is christian cage they know him as uncle jay because obviously christian and edge you know christian and adam however you want to go about it they've been best friends before they even got into the wrestling business like that so uh his daughter's like yeah go you know hang out with uncle jay i think it's that time so uh edge was like all right that's that's that was a really big decision for him because they he want they you know his family wanted him to link up with christian so he calls out christian he's like yo christian come out here we gotta talk i know you back there let's talk christian comes out there with the uh the tnt championship just has this smug look he didn't change up not one time just this smug disgusting i'm better than everybody look so he walks down or whatnot he walks down there and uh he's um uh, he's listening to you know what edge has to say to him you know he doesn't have no one else luchasaurus not with him just by himself just with the title you know he's listening but he still has this disgusted look and basically uh edge was like look i called you out here and the reason why i interfered in what you was doing at the end of wrestle dream uh this past weekend because you were about to attack sting with a concerto sting and he started getting real passionate you know how edge get like you were literally about to try to end this man's career with a concerto the guy that you posted a poster of at our local barbershop because you wanted to get a haircut just like him and i like that he brought real life stories into 
in, into the you know into the storyline into whatever you know he's trying to convey to him like real life things that may have happened so he's like yo you wanted to look like sting and now you're trying to end his career i had to stop that i i had to but that's neither here nor there the reason why i'm here the reason why i came to AEW, because at the end of the day you know, I, I I really wanted to talk to you. It's been a minute since we've, you know, had this type of interaction. And I also like the fact, and shout out to the people that are in the chat that caught on to this. He sent a little shots at the Judgment Day because he's like, what you doing right now with Luchasaurus? You got Luchasaurus and uh, the other kid. Y'all know who I'm talking about. <laughs> the other kid with him or whatnot. They're going to, basically, he said they're basically going to, you know, leech him they're gonna leech off of him until they get every ounce of information they can get and then they're gonna drop you like a bad habit or whatnot and i like the reference to judgment day because that's basically what happened in judgment day they got all they can get from him and then they dropped him like a bad habit he's like trust me i know that's what's you know i know these things that's what's gonna happen but you're not gonna listen because i know you man so i like the little nod there uh <laughs> to what happened with judgment day or whatever but he proceeds to say i'm i came back because i want us to team up one more time he he started off saying it's time and i was like what do you mean by that and then he started building it up it's like it's time for us to show the world why we are the greatest tag team ever he said we can let's let's team up together one more time we haven't been able to do this in so long let's team up one more time and take on ftr and take on the young bucks you know what i'm saying i don't believe he didn't mention the hardies or anything like that i may think that's probably gonna happen later down the line but like let's team up one more time to show these young kids that don't know about us why we are the greatest tag team of all time what do you say crowd went crazy and then he started to lighten up a little bit christian he started to lighten up his mood his facial expressions changed just a bit as if he's going to actually agree to this he asked for the microphone and then he gestures for edge to give him a hug they hug they embrace the crowd is happy he picks up the microphone while he's still hugging edge and proceeds to say go fuck yourself they bleep it out but he says go fuck yourself and the crowd goes crazy it's just a big old moment edge is just standing there looking confused and shocked and then he gets out the ring after just telling his best friend to go fuck himself that's wild he goes up the ramp and then he's basically saying, you know, but this is what you do have to look forward to next Tuesday, since Dynamite's going to be on Tuesday. And then Luchasaurus comes out or whatnot. And then the other guy, uh, Nick Wayne, I believe that's his name. Um, that's I'm, I'm sorry if I'm, you know, messing it up. I do believe that's his name. I'm still trying to get used to his character and what they're trying to do with him. But he comes out there or whatnot, and Luchasaurus is there, and you have Christian right there just sitting there smug, like, and Edge is just looking confused, like, damn, bro, this is how it, this is how it is. So that's what they're building up to next week. Uh, Edge's in-ring debut in AEW going against Luchasaurus. But, yeah, man, um... Yeah, that was uh that that was that segment. I enjoyed it. I like the fact that they're just they're teasing it. It's not his he's still a heel. He's still a despicable heel. He's showing that. He's doing some of his best character work right now in his career, in my personal opinion. Some of his business. It's just fantastic. And I love what they're doing with the slow build. At some point, we're going to get the moment when Christian finally aligns himself with edge and they're gonna go on a tear edge and christian once again you know <laughs> tearing down the tag team uh division not tearing it down but tearing it up in the tag team division it's gonna happen at some point it doesn't need to happen right now is it needs to be somewhat of a slow build they're gonna build up to it when it does finally happen it's gonna be a great moment so comment down below let me know how did you guys feel about this entire segment uh did you enjoy 
their uh, Edge and Christian's interaction. And are you guys looking forward to it at some point whenever they do team up and start having tag team matches of once again? Are you guys going to be excited about that? Because I know me personally, I'm looking forward to that. So it's going to be very interesting to see what's going to happen here. But let me know how y'all felt about this entire segment. I thought it was amazing. But I appreciate all love and support. Road to 150K. And I'm still on the speed of YouTube, wrestling champ of the world. Appreciate y'all kicking me. See you on the next one. Peace.